There's a new bill going around that enforces ESRB ratings. If a minor is seen buying an M or A rated game, there will be a $5,000 fine. But is it to the buyers or the sellers? We'll never know. First of all, this is just idiotic. Second of all, it would not work. Think about it. How many games do you know where you play a maniacal killer? In Half-Life 2, you're helping citizens and rebels by destroying evil robots and killing the abusive police to save the world. In Wolfenstein 3D, you're killing Hitler and his Nazi soldiers. In Call of Duty, which I can't believe I'm including this one, you're a soldier going into war to fight for your country. So most of the time, you're pretty much a hero in these games. I can only think of one game that you play a maniacal killer. And that one is Postal. However, Postal is the story of a paranoid person, so the game is probably what happens in his head, I guess? Also, four other things. The blood in these games aren't even realistic. The most realistic game we have doesn't even have real-looking blood, so... Two, how much more violent are these M and A rated games than E rated games, really? In Mario, you murder turtles and mutant mushrooms by stomping on them. In Pac-Man, you collect powerful drugs to devour ghosts for no reason. Three, mass murderers have been around since way before video games. For example, World Wars 1 and 2. Are we going to pin the blames on video games for those? Except we can't because video games didn't exist. So it's really not video games that are causing this then. Four, if this bill is passed, it would break the First Amendment of the Constitution. I mean, really, it's as if the Constitution doesn't even matter anymore, practically. There have just been so many bills that void it. I'm looking at you, Lamar Smith! And I'm sure that someone somewhere is going to say, Oh, porn's banned from kids, so why shouldn't violent video games be banned from kids? Well, there's a difference between a sexual video and a game that makes you a hero by killing evil dudes. According to an article on NPR in July 2011, social psychologist Brad Bushman at The Ohio State University once showed students violent pictures, one of a man shoving a gun down another man's throat, another of a man holding a knife to a woman's throat. The students' brains did not respond to the violent images. They were numb, if you will. Bushman says, playing violent video games probably will not turn your child into a psychopathic killer, but I would want to know how the child treats his or her parents, how they treat their siblings, and how much compassion they have. And now back to my own opinions. This is Max talking. I would never kill another person unless it's deserved or virtual. Like, if there's an enemy on the screen that I need to kill, I'd kill him. However, in real life, if I was issued to kill, like, a random innocent civilian, I would not kill him. Which is why I'd probably be a terrible hitman. Video games definitely make me a little more aggressive, but not to the point of killing another person. Just their in-game player if they're an enemy. Also, usually in video games, I don't even like to kill civilians. Just the enemies. Not even the Squidward-looking villagers. Even with the terrible trade, I just couldn't bring myself to kill them. So yeah, I wouldn't kill civilians in-game or in real life. And that's all for today. Please share the hell out of this. I'd love if you do. Hope you enjoyed.